we don't believe that a pot is done. Like the piece of art isn't done until it's in someone's home and being used. I really believe that the pots have stories to tell after they leave here. My name's Morgan Baum, and I own the Clay Coyote Gallery and Pottery here in Hutchinson, Minnesota. We've been going for 30 years. I'm the second generation owner. My parents started it in 1994. Functional pottery is kind of a unique lane in the ceramics world. So there's pottery that is, um, is decorative, you know, vases and sculptures, and then there's the pottery that you use every day. Cups and mugs and bowls and plates. What we do differently at the Clay Coyote is we make cookware, and there are only two other potters in the United States that make a special type of glaze and a special type of clay that marry each other so that they can go on a direct flame. Most pottery, like this mug I'm holding, would crack in under a minute if you put a flame underneath it. And that's because the glaze and the clay don't have the same expansion rates. So there's tension. So the clay is heating up faster than the outside is. Kaboom. But our special pottery, which is called flameware, has a glaze and a clay that move at the same rate. So when you put the flame on it, there's no tension. So one of the reasons I love working with eggs and clay in particular is because, you know, these, the property of the flameware and the glaze when they marry each other actually really creates a nonstick situation. The glaze has, um, it's non-porous, unlike cast iron, so it doesn't, you don't have to season it like you would any other um, pot. You can actually scrub it. So you notice I'm using metal spatula. A lot of um, commercial cookware will tell you not to use metal um, because of the coating, because you can scratch it. You cannot scratch this. Every piece that we design here, we think about the aesthetics, how it looks. And then the next most important thing is that, you know, it's got a good balance, it's got a nice handle, it fits really well in your hand, it pours easily, it's not too heavy. We want people to put our pots in action every day. This is one of our number one items. So it's a veggie steamer. So there's holes in the bottom of this. You put the vegetables in it, and then you put the lid on and a little bit of water, just about an inch in the bottom of a saucepan, and the broccoli will steam right in it. We're going to add it to our um, macaroni and cheese. One of the things about boiling in this, in our flameware clay, is that unlike a metal pot where you, if you were boiling and it was gonna boil over, um, you can turn the heat off on a metal pot and it'll simmer down really fast. Clay is holding that heat, so you can't react that fast. So it does take a little bit of time to learn how to cook with clay. I love making roux, um, any sauce in clay. Since the clay is holding the heat, it's an insulator and it helps thicken things up a lot faster. I think about the meals I had with the pots. Sometimes you can take a bite of a, you know, something and just flash back to where you were and who you were with. My husband and I honeymooned in Morocco. We took a bunch of cooking classes on how to make Moroccan tagine. And here at the Clay Coyote, we make the only clay handmade tagine in America. So every time I make tagine at home, every bite 
takes me across the ocean. If you want to cook authentic Moroccan tagine, you need a clay that can go on the stovetop. And then the top is very intentionally designed in a conical shape so that then when we put the lid on, the moisture is going to come up and go down. So it's considered a self-basting pot. So here comes the, the patience. You just put the lid right on the top of it. And now 45 minutes and it will, um, that moisture will come up and go down and come up and go down. It's perfectly tender. When I think about our business, the thing that really matters the most to me is putting pots people love in their hands. We make pots that you use every day, you know, cookware that you feed your family with, mugs that you drink out of with your lips, you know, <laughs> there's only a couple things you touch with your lips. And, and our hands formed all of the pieces, so we really want you to feel like every pot in your cupboard is, you know, a connection between you and us. Thank you.